guys. So I know I've been saying that. I know I just made an update video that I'm not gonna you get a video out for you guys till Monday. But I got the tripod. Came today. I wasn't expecting it. So now I'm gonna be making great videos for you guys. Um today we're gonna be setting up my cricket cage because actually one second, hold up thought guys, I forgot the lid. I always seem to do that, forget the lid to the cricket to the cricket keeper. So basically, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a how to keep crickets alive, and I'm gonna set it up for you guys. So first thing you need is oats, just old-fashioned oats that you use for doobie roaches or any other type of feeder. Gonna open these up. You're gonna put a nice layer on the bottom, and this is gonna be your secondary feed source for the cricket along with the first food source so by the way today i'm not going to be showing you how to breed them i'm just going to show you how to keep them alive so you can get a nice even coat of the oats on the ground just to go load them yeah and then you need a little deli cup and cricket food orange cube you can get it for like four dollars on amazon that's how i recommend to get it and you're going to open this up you're going to take i'm almost out actually you gonna take a good bit of that. You got to replace this like daily, but you're gonna put this like that. And then I have a little cut right here for them to get into it. Put that right there. That's gonna be their food source. You can also use this, but this gets bad easy. Um, I just like to use this because they can use it for water as well. So, you got that, and then you're gonna need two bottle caps, and then some bug gel. It's like these little crystals that expand to like 10 times your size. These aren't even full size, but this is how big I make mine. And you can put them in water bottles to prepare them with water. Uh, you can find them on Amazon as well. Just look up non-toxic water crystals, and they'll come up for like 500 of them, which is like 12 cups for only like four bucks. Then you're going to put a little bit of those in there. It's okay if a little bit of them drop. And a lot of people think this, this orange stuff is just for water. No, this is a food source as well for the crickets. It's actually both. You don't even need these water crystals. You only need the orange, but I like to keep two just in case. So they don't get dehydrated. A little bit of those like that. And then... This is gonna be a pretty short video. And then you take some of these. I get these from Wendy's, McDonald's, what you not. You can also order them. They're kind of expensive though to order. You're gonna rip them up. Because egg crates are too expensive. These are way too rare. They're literally the same thing. Break them up. I should probably only do one. Like that. And then, once you got all that, like I said, this will be probably a short video, but it's not really much to know. You just gotta know, you know, how to keep them alive. Well, let me actually lower this a little bit. Sorry, I'm just getting used to this tripod. So that's like that. This is what makes this go down. Okay. Over to about there. Ooh, yeah, it's lowering this new tripod, you guys. Okay. So then, after you got all that, the key to keep these cells alive is all this. Um, but yeah, that's how you keep them alive. And you're gonna get your bag of crickets at 20 adults here. Not trying to breed them or anything. If you want a breeding bed tutorial, I'll get you guys that too, so let me know. You add, this is 20 crickets. Add them in like so. And there they go, straight to the food. And I'll actually try to get some B-roll shots for you guys. Give me a second. Let me get some B-roll shots in three, two, 